Pretty bitches only could get in my passe. Yes, my name is Roman, the same as Zelensky, but no relation to Roman Polanski. Hi. So as you can see, I had some sort of a little bit of a breakdown the other day and decided to dye my hair to a level five. I was at a level 10. So it came out all right, but we're gonna fix it today because my roots are golden and the back of my head still has blue spots on it and blue spots are not really that cute. So we're gonna fix this. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this, but I figured, you know what, fall is coming up. Let's do it. Let's just try it out. And if I don't like it, I could always just get rid of it because I'm using a, a demi-permanent, which is a step up from a semi-permanent, but I use 10 volume with this. So that kind of makes it a semi-permanent because it's not going to last that long. It didn't lift my hair or anything. So yeah, I already pre-mixed everything. So I'm not going to like show you what I like exactly what I did, but I did this. Uh, Wella Color Charm in 5BC, and I mix it with a Wella Color Charm developer. So, yeah, that's been sitting in here for a minute. So, I think I'm gonna just touch this up. We'll do like a little chit chat, um, touch up my hair, and it's gonna be a good time. As you could see, my roots are a little bit more orangey golden. Um, and then the ends get to more of like the cool brown that I'm trying to go for all around. And then of course the sides in the back have to be redone because there's blue spots everywhere. So I think what I'm going to do is just go right in and start right on the sides. Just because it's like really easy and it's the shortest part. And I think this is the part that needs the most coverage. So what's up everybody? So today's actually a really exciting day because my new episode on Lisa Lampanelli's podcast, The Let Lisa Help, is now up. And it just went up this morning and I did listen to it myself because, I don't know, I just like to hear myself talk. No, just kidding, but I actually am a huge fan of the podcast to begin with, so I listen to every episode anyways, and... I'm actually really happy with the way it came out personally. Um, if I do say so myself, I'm not sure if like my opinion matters because it's my episode, but pretty sure it came out really good. So I would recommend going and listening to that after this. I will link that down in the description if you're interested. Um, we talked about tattoos, impulsive decisions, um, taking off the mask, and just much more. We talked a lot about my self-help journey and just really working on myself this past year and what I'm still working on. And she is actually my life coach. She's like the best life coach you could possibly ask for. Um, so yeah, that's very exciting and I'm really happy that's out. Also, I'm just going in in the back, which is probably why my hair is still blue in the back. But I'm just going in right in the back without looking at it. Um, I'll look at it again in the mirror after, but, yeah, that's just how I am. And I'm kind of just, like, combing it upwards just to make sure that it's really getting into the root. I wish that I recorded this, like, originally when I dyed my blonde hair, but it was just, like, one of those impulsive decisions that I talked about on the podcast today that I made. Um... So I wasn't really thinking of it, but next time I do something, like, when I try to get rid of this color, trust me, I'll be recording that because we love a good bleach video on dark hair. But how do you guys feel about the dark hair on me? Like, do you like it? Do you think it looks weird? I think it looks weird just because I'm so used to seeing myself with bright hair, but I actually love this color. It's, like, really nice. It's not, it's not, like, too red and it's not too dark. It's like a perfect in-between brown moment that I love. And it kind of makes me feel like a Kardashian to have these dark locks, but... And now I'm just going to start separating the roots of the top, because that's what really is the problem on the top. The ends of my hair seems to be fine, so... I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I'll just comb it through. This is such a weird angle. I look like Satan, like, looking up like this. Like, 
And you know, I'm just doing this right in, uh, right in the screen. You know, we don't need a mirror or anything. I'm just gonna wing it again and hope that maybe I don't have to do it again. Like I've said before, if you've watched my past hair videos, I'm not a professional. This is just something I enjoy to do myself. My mom is a hairdresser, so it's like if I could, if I wanted to get it done by a professional, I easily could. I know many hairdressers, but I just like to do it myself because it's fun, it's an activity, and it's just like one of those things like makeup that's like therapeutic, like having a mental breakdown, just start dyeing your hair and you'll calm down. And then you might have another mental breakdown after you see it, but... That's another thing. No, but seriously, I'm actually into this, so. We love a root saturation. And I'm just kind of like, as I'm going through, I'm just like combing it through all the way. And then at the end, I'll probably just cover like my whole head, but the ends do not need to be sitting in this for that long because it might make it darker and I don't want it to get darker. I hope a professional hairdresser doesn't watch these ever because they're going to be like, what are you doing? Oh yeah, this middle section here really, really needs it. So fun fact, when you're going from like platinum blonde to dark color like this, you're always supposed to fill it. That's like the number one rule. So I know a lot of hairdressers do like orange or they'll do like a red base or a yellow base just to cover up the blonde and then they'll go in with the dark color so it has a nice base. I didn't do that. I literally just went in with my 6 BC or 5, what is it? Yeah, 5 BC. And I just went right over my hair and it actually came out fine. Like it doesn't look, the point of doing the filler is to make sure that like it doesn't grab too green or it doesn't grab too red. But I feel like this color, like the cool is like kind of a mixture of warm and cool at the same time. So I feel like it evened itself out and I really took a risk in doing that and it came out really nice. Wouldn't recommend doing it, but I'm just telling you what I did. I am so rough with my hair. Someone actually pointed that out to me in one of my other hair videos. And I'm just like, I'm actually just a naturally rough person. Like I drop my iPhone like 25 times a day. And I break things all the time. Like, I'm just naturally rough, I guess. And then my eyebrows, I don't know if you could tell, but this one is a lot darker than this one. Because they were bleached. So I'm going to go right over my eyebrows with this. And that probably is going to stain my skin for a moment, but it's fine because makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to get a mirror and make sure that the back is completely saturated. There's some parts right here, right here, and like probably on the bottom that I think I can redo. I have a little bit left over, so I'm just going to really coat that this time because that's the parts where the blue was like really showing. It was like actually embarrassing because I went to work the other day and I didn't notice it until I was looking in the mirror at myself and I was like, that looks a little crazy, but it's fine. I don't think anybody noticed. It was really early. I'm just hoping that this doesn't turn out too dark. At this point, I'm just, I do this every time, but at this point, I'm just going to cover my whole head and see what happens. I want to make sure I get literally every single centimeter. Every centimeter. Because we really don't like patches with dark hair. It's one thing to have patches with like, like, I don't know, like pink or something like that. Like if there's like a little blonde patch, it doesn't matter that much really. Like it does matter, but it doesn't look that atrocious. But when you have really dark hair and there's pieces of like orange sticking out, it stands out a lot more. And there's like pieces of blue, like, girl, and blue is like the worst color to get rid of. I honestly, like if I was doing this the right way, I should have just lifted the blue out of my head before I even did this, but 
We like to save time over here, okay? So I'm just taking a paper towel and just gonna try to get all of this off of my forehead as much as I can, cause it does stain it. Like it's already staining it, but we wanna try to reduce that. But I'm like kind of living for it though, cause it's like, oh yeah, a constant like 24 seven uh, forehead contour. Like, I look perfectly contoured and I have no makeup on. Oh my god, honestly, life hacks. Maybe I should just start, like, dyeing my cheekbones to have, like, a natural contour. Actually, just kidding. That was really dumb. It sounded funnier in my head. Woo! It's starting to rain. Do you hear that ASMR? Love it. Pretty bitches only could get in my passe. Yes, my name is Roman, the same as Zelensky, but no relation to Roman Polanski. I feel like actually Jenna Marbles right now because I feel like I have like, I know that I have a too much sheen. I'm pretty sure I've said that in a video before, but it's like whenever it comes to dyeing my hair or something, I don't even know how I miss parts because I'll sit here for like the full amount of processing time just going over every inch again and like making sure and like it's a little too much like there's no reason for this to be all over my eyelid right now but at least my eyebrows are saturated and since there's like some left over i like to just make sure that i use every bit of it just because it's there and like you know you're getting used out of it My eyes look so much more blue. Wow, weppa. Has anybody watching this right now ever gone from like an extreme color to the next? Like how was that for you? Cause sometimes it's so shocking. Like if you go from like platinum blonde to like really dark, it's like, it takes a long time to get used to. Like I've been so back and forth with this. Cause like I saw a picture of me with pink hair and I was like, oh no. This was a mistake. But then I'm like, no way, it looks really good though. I don't know, has anybody ever experienced this before? Am I starting to regret this, like, as I'm touching this up? No, I'm fine, I'm fine, it looks good. Okay, so to be honest, I kind of want to shave my eyebrows off too, again, because like I do this all the time, and I think they look so good shaved, and I honestly think that it's so much easier to just draw your eyebrows on than it is to like have actual eyebrows and fill them in. It is so much easier for me to just draw eyebrows on. A lot of people would find that like crazy, but I don't know what it is. It's just so simple to me. But real eyebrows, I don't like real eyebrows because they're so difficult to work with. Um, yeah. So I'm considering doing that. But if I do that, I will definitely do that in the video. Like, I'll show you guys step by step what I do every time I decide to shave my eyebrows. Because it happens at least every year. And then I let them grow out. And then I'm like, actually, no. I know it's coming soon. I know it's coming soon. Working in the beauty industry makes it a lot easier because it's like, okay, I have to put makeup on every day anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. When you don't have to put on makeup every day, that's when it starts to be a pain in the ass because it's like, ugh, I have to draw eyebrows on for to go to the store. But if you're already doing it, honey, just do it. And sometimes I rock no brows anyways. Not all the time, but I love a no brow moment so much. Okay, so I'm going to let this process, I'm going to wash it out, and I'm going to come back and show you what happened, what it looks like finally, and yeah. 
so it looks like it's black in this lighting right now but as you go into the sunlight it really doesn't look that dark um and this is also because I just did it. Once I start like washing it, it will start to look light again, but I like it. It looks so thick and healthy. And the blue is pretty much gone. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it's a little bit darker here, like where the blue was compared to up here where the pink was. Um, but I'm really happy with it right now. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's a little bit of a shock still, just how dark it is, but I really love it. It makes my hair look so nice and like shiny and just so bouncy and nice and lively. Whoa! I feel like Kim. I feel like Ruby Rose. Wait. That was my Ruby Rose face. But I'm not going to straighten it right now like I normally would just because I'm trying to make my hair just a little bit healthier lately and you know I'm always trying to take care of it and put oils in it and stuff like that but I want to try to use a little bit less heat than normal because when it gets to this length I do start to straighten it but I'm not going to be doing it like all the time like I normally do I'm just going to be doing it like when it's actually necessary like right now I don't have anywhere special to go so I'm not going to really worry about straightening it or anything and I'm really happy with it. Now I feel like Kris Jen. When I first heard about Kim's sex tape, as her mother, I wanted to kill her. But as her manager... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just something silly, but I definitely want to be uploading more. So I'm going to be recording a lot more, figuring out what type of videos work, what type of videos don't work. So as I always say, feel free to give me some suggestions in the comments as to what you like to see. Um, I know last video, a lot of you guys said that you want more mukbangs. I will definitely do that for you because it did get a little bit of a response. Like people were messaging me and commenting on the video. So I know that you guys want that. Let me know if you like these hair videos. Let me know if you like any, like I could do another story time. Like let me know what you guys want to see and I will make that happen for you, babe. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. And be safe, responsible, respectful, always be a leader, and have a day of excellence. I love you, mean it. You're really hot. Bye. With my red bottom, bottom. in my Gucci bag, Gucci. we don't got problems. We just got cash. We just got cash. We just got cash. We don't got problems. We just got cash.